Okay, this question has a right angle triangle and it's got two lengths and an angle. Uh, we're trying to find the angle. So this is going to be a trigonometry question because it involves an angle and two sides. And in trigonometry, the first step is to label the hypotenuse, which is opposite the right angle. Then we're going to label the opposite, which is opposite the marked angle. And then we're going to label the adjacent, which is the last one left. And it's between the right angle and the marked angle. Next step, we're going to cross out the one that's not interesting. The adjacent has 2.4 next to it. The hypotenuse has 5.6 next to it. So the opposite is not very interesting. And we're going to write down Sokatoa. And these are the three triangles we shall need to be able to answer this question. Now we're going to cross out the ones that involve the O, which is this one and this one, because we've crossed out the O in the triangle. That leaves the cos or ka. Now if you want to use the formula, you can just write this down and substitute in the values. I do it with a triangle. And C stands for cos, and it's always cos the angle, so it's cos x. The A stands for 2.4, and the H stands for 5.6. So cos x is 2.4 over 5.6, so let's write that out. Okay, now we're going to try and solve this. And the way of solving it is we've got to do the opposite of cos, which is inverse cos. We've got to do that both sides to work out what x is. So in the calculator, I'm going to type in inverse cos 2.4 over 5.6. Now to get the inverse cos, we need to type in shift or second function and cos to get the inverse cos. And then I'm going to press the fraction button 2.4, cursor button down 5.6, and then cursor button right and make sure you close the bracket, otherwise the calculator will not like it. And I get 64.623, blah, blah, blah. And it says it wants it to two decimal places, so 64.62.